Today, two new developments happening in the deadly collapse of the Hopple Street overpass on I-75. First, a surprising admission from the construction company demolishing that span. The second, a legal battle brewing over who will control the victim's estate. Nine on your side reporter Tom McKee has the details on what we learned today. Federal and state investigators continue their probe into what caused the old Hopple Street ramp over I-75 to collapse last month. But now Cocosing Construction admits that an engineering mistake may have contributed to that tragedy. The January accident claimed the life of Cocosing employee Brandon Carl, who was working atop the span when it fell. From the start, investigators focused on the plan for demolishing the bridge to see if it was adequate for the job. Saturday, Cocosing CEO Brian Burgett said in a statement the company made an engineering mistake that may have been a contributing factor to the collapse of the bridge and the subsequent death of our colleague Brandon Carl. The flaw in the plan will be carefully examined in the coming weeks. We're focusing on what caused this incident to happen and, and then try to make sure that that information is taken not only to the company but also to all of industry mm -hmm. so we can prevent things like this. Kokosing has also changed its bridge demolition protocol where it and an outside firm have to agree on the engineering before work begins. Brandon Carl's parents have already filed suit in the case, but his fiance, Kendra Blair, is challenging their right to be executor of his estate, a position she believes should be hers. The dispute over who will be the executor of Brandon Carl's estate goes to court Tuesday in Bracken County, Brooksville, Kentucky. Tom McKean out on your side, Camp Washington. We'll stay on top of it. Thanks, Tom.